Hi everyone, welcome to Python learning series for network engineers. This is the second video on IP address module. In the first video we have seen how to use IP address module for handling various IP address related tasks. We have seen how to validate whether the address given is a multicast, private IP, global, link local and all these options we have seen. And then we have seen how to validate the IP address whether it is the right IP or not. Now in this video, we'll see how to validate the networks. Here in this documentation, we can see some of the options and syntaxes. We'll validate all those. So first we need to import IP address. Then I'll create a variable here, IP subnet equal to IP address dot IP underscore network here in this case this is going to be network in the previous video we have seen IP address now we'll be looking into IP network here we'll take input from user enter subnet Let us try running it. So we are getting a valid message that this is not a valid IP network. I'll try giving a valid subnet. So now there is no error. So the module is able to identify a valid subnet input from the user. Now if you want to verify the options available, we can do a dir of ip underscore subnet. And here we will be able to validate all the available options like we have options like address exclude then to find out the host list and is multicast is loopback, back is private multiple options are available here we'll see all those now i'll comment this and i'll hard code one ip address Zero dot zero slash twenty eight. I'll give and here if you need to get the network address print dot network address. This is the network address of this particular subnet and if we need broadcast address this is the broadcast address of this particular subnet and similar way we can see the net mask then number of addresses all these details we will be able to see here as well number of addresses network address net mask so the net mask is 255.240 and number of addresses are 16 now we'll see the prefix length so 
that is 28 it is slash 28 network so similar to that we have even explored option here explored option will convert this into a valid string I have explained that in the IP address demo now here we'll see what is host mask you can see the host mask here then the reverse pointer then we have one more option called sub uh, with host mask so here the subnet with host mask uh, this will print Similar to that, we can even have net mask. So this is now net mask. And if you need the prefix length here, then with prefix length. Now it is slash 28 and similar to that we can have even version it is IPv4 and then max prefix length and that is going to be 32 in case of IPv4 now next we'll see how to get the complete host list so for that I'll add one more variable here IP underscore subnet dot host and for I I'll create a for loop here in the variable k I'll put print i let us try running it so here now this is able to get all the IP addresses in this particular subnet 0 was the network address and 15 was the broadcast address in this case Now similar way if you need to find out whether one subnet is overlapping so what we can do is let us just do a print of overlapping ip underscore subnet then dot overlaps and we can look into the documentation here so overlaps so if this contains in the subnet we will get true and inside overlaps we will pass one IP address IP address dot IP network and inside that we will pass one static IP 192.168.0.5 slash 32 let us try running it 
so this is overlapping with this subnet now instead of this you can even do one more thing we can add that into a variable server1 I'll give in this way server1 IP address dot IP underscore network and server IP I'll give 192.168.0.18 and now we need to verify the overlap let us do a print here IP subnet dot overlaps server 1 now this should give false because this is not part of our slash 28 0 0.0 slash 28 subnet now if I change this to 10 this will be part of the subnet in this way you can just violate whether particular IP is part of any subnet uh, now we'll see what is address exclude here let us search for exclude yeah so this will compute multiple subnets excluding IP whatever we are giving so here new exclude equal to then IP address dot IP network and I'll try excluding one particular IP 192.168.0.2 and excluding this I need to generate some subnet so L1 IP underscore subnet dot address exclude and then the new exclude I will give now 4 IP in L1 print let us try running it and here this has created multiple subnets without having this particular IP now if we give 3 here this will create multiple subnets without 3 in the list and in this way you can just create subnets excluding particular IP or multiple IPs and these are some of the basics option available in the IP address module for the subnets in the next video we will see how to write this particular script for validating the user input we will take input from user and send a message saying that whether it is a valid IP or not and if you try giving a valid IP this will say okay this accepts only subnets from this range and once we give that subnet range it will get added to a particular list it is IP list which is available within the script you can even use some external file to add or read it once we add it it will 
log in the, into the IP list and again if you try giving the same IP it will say IP already exists and if I add another IP that will get added to the list we will see this in the next video I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how to use IP address module thanks for watching see you in the next video